Tips that scales just about 5,000 pounds, just high or just shy. It really depends on how you build it, what options you apply. The stunning 2104S Rockwood Mini Light here at Halo RV. Seen with a whole bunch of beautiful options, but right now, that, that exterior skin upgrade, oh my good lord, this thing just looks like a mega Geo Pro. It just, what a stunner, right? Gorgeous looking trailer. We're seeing her today with a, a handful of options and upgrades. I'm gonna point out as we go, you can build Rockwood so many different ways. I think that's one of the things that makes them the most popular lightweight out there since before I've been in this business and I've been around a dozen years. Um, if my hairline doesn't give that away. <laughs> but this is the smallest mini light. Anything smaller than this and you drop down into a Geo Pro size, and really that's what this one is. If you love Geo Pros, you'll be like, I wish I could get just a little bit bigger, like walk around bed, a little more space, a tandem axle. That is exactly where this one comes from. Now we're looking at her today in that lighter skin or uh, decor package on the inside, and it lightens and brightens this little thing up, and it just looks Ah, just absolutely phenomenal. She is slightly limited on travel accessibility, but if you've got yourself like, uh, I would say pretty much any tow package half ton's gonna handle this one. Obviously we always wanna check that, but some of the bigger mid-size uh, pickups like a tow package Tacoma, this is in the upper ranges, but you could take this, the really large SUV classes. You could have one of these too, so you may not need to give up your daily driver vehicle just to go camping, which <laughs> kinda cool, saves you a lot of money. Oh man, I love the lighter, brighter Newport ash wood that we're looking at here. Uh, combined especially with that stone fabric decor that we're looking at, that is just beautiful. Now, one thing I've really kind of noticed since I began in the RV industry is we've become very entertainment center focused. So I kind of thought I would really start this one by taking a seat on the sofa and just give you a look at what it's gonna, how it's gonna suit you, you know? When you come in here and sit down, you want to kick your feet up after a long day, this is what you're going to be looking at right here. And I think it's especially important on this model because the TV is in a very uncommon position as compared to most of the time in the RV industry. What you're going to see is it doesn't matter if you're sitting here or at the dinette. You can have, or you know, if you're laying in bed, frankly, uh, you have a great look at the entertainment center. And that is also another reason I wanted to start with this free-floating table kind of G-hawed off to the side, because if you notice, it can also basically easily, just by sliding the table, form a little bit of a lounge. Which I think is actually a pretty cool place to just come over, sit down, you can kick your leg up on the L section of the lounge, you can have a drink or some food or something sitting next to you. I don't know why I say it like food, but food. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. I am not properly caffeinated, medicated, I don't know, regardless. Campside windows. I don't think we'll ever get enough of them. I do like that Rockwood really tries. You got windows on either side of the bed slash sofa. Big breeze window right there across from the uh, above the kitchen. Plus a full viewing window in the entry door, which is shade ready. And uh, this is where we actually began. I was actually sitting right over here at this sofa. And, you know, like a lot of Murphy beds, it's cool you got that sofa there. But Rockwood always kicks it up a notch. Or in this case, a couple notches with what I like to call... The simulated cinema seating. They have like a theater seat Murphy bed that I've not seen other people do. Uh, I, I'm sure it costs more money. You know, I'm sure that's why a lot of brands don't do it. Rockwood is rarely the dollar cheapest brand. Ironically, they're not nearly the most expensive you're going to find out there. They are, however, arguably one of the best equipped. So you have that flip down armrest cup holder in the middle, plus a pair of kickouts on either side. And the Murphy bed in a Rockwood is about the easiest there is to operate I've seen in the entire RV industry. Even this, they give us like a little pull handle here just to make even that portion of it a little more simple. You just lift that up, gravity does the rest, and then again, this is gas driven, so it's not difficult to operate. And then when it's time to put it away, there's a little safety lock that you pull right here so that if you lay on the headboard, it doesn't dump you and lawn chair you into this thing. And by virtue of the fact that this is a one-piece mattress, not what I call a bendy bed, uh, you can strap all of your bedding and everything down so you don't have to make the bed every morning and every night. And that's the Rockwood advantage. Everything they do is just plus one better than everybody else. I, I, I love the way that they do that. Now, whether you're going to use the stands beside the sofa or the bed, as it were, 
uh, you know, during the day, at night. I want you to get to see that there's some, you know, USB household plugs over here, plus a switch for the lights overhead on the bed. But they also include a, a headboard up here, so you have a place to, like, set a CPAP machine, some phones or anything like that, and they put some outlets right up next to that, too, because otherwise it'd be hard to get all of that stuff up there. Now, whenever you have a Murphy bed, really the one thing you're really giving up is privacy. So you notice they do give us at least a pull across privacy curtain here that, and it does not block the, uh, well, how, how do I want to say this? It doesn't encompass the door. So the door can still be opened and closed without interrupting anybody. The other cool thing here is you don't really give up a whole lot of storage as compared to a normal walk around bed camper. Now down below here, since they don't have like an overhead cabinet due to the TV's location, they did need to put the controls right here, but on a couple's camper like this, probably not a big deal. You can sync to this panel if you want to via the LCI One control system. And Rockwood uh, is one of the very few, and I've only seen a couple of the more premium brands still including a DVD function there. Uh, a lot of brands have gone to just uh, stereo and Bluetooth. Now. I'm not using a tricky fisheye lens. This is a vaulted ceiling. It does open it up in here, especially with the light colors. It makes this little camper not look and feel so small. We will typically outfit this with a larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner. But one thing I want you to see is how Rockwood double ducks their air conditioning, even in this little, basically, one-room camper, which, you know, they probably don't need to do, but it you know, it really makes a heck of a difference in terms of keeping it cooler more evenly, you know. Now, uh, over here we can see some good breeze windows, but we can shut those down too for some nighttime privacy, which is where that big true U dinette is going to come into play. Now, a couple notes. These two bottom cabinets, when I was showing you all the storage, you might have seen how there's just a panel inside of those. It's because those are access points to things that, where you don't want cargo, basically. Now, you see how this has the, um, <clears throat> Flappy Doodle 37 series right there. And I love that sound <laughs> because I'm a kid. But uh, that is so that the bathroom door doesn't go banging into stuff. Now, quick note on the refrigerator. What we're looking at today is the standard eight cubic foot two-way gas electric fridge. Rockwood Mini Lights also have an option for a 10.7 cubic foot DC compressor fridge, 12 volt guy. We will do that very, very often here at Halid RV. When you do that, it also automatically includes a 190 watt solar package and 100, or I'm sorry, 1000 watt uh, inverter. We sell to people nationwide though. There's a lot of, especially Western dry campers that still want a two way fridge. That's what we happen to be looking at today. Very, very possible. And frankly, more likely, the one that we have in stock at a given point here at Halid RV would uh, have that 12 volt fridge. Uh, now, there's there's some good leg room in here, too, because it's a small camper. I always get worried about uh, small bathrooms and small campers, and this one, you, you don't have a big problem with all that. Now, as we come up here past an extra large radius shower, similarly, we've got some really good headroom going on in there. But I want you to get to see the uh, bigger vent fan that they use at Rockwood, and they uh, also automatically include the roof vent cover on that. Now, that cover is easily something that we could add for you here at Halid RV, but isn't it nice that you don't have to, that it's factory installed, that it's factory warranted? You know, those little things, I, I like those kind of things right there, like a big sink that I can actually get my hands into. And as you're seeing on the shower door itself, this is equipped with that water saver uh, shower miser system. That is only going to be good for uh, park or, I'm sorry, not good for park campers, only used for boondockers, by the way. You don't use the shower miser system when you're in a park. Kind of like, you know, I seem to be having a hard time using my brains inside a camper. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. How'd you see me? I'm in ninja mode. Now, there's a couple things here I want to show you with the slide closed. I cannot put the Murphy bed down in transit. That is just kind of the thing with the, uh, the extra large pantry in the slide over here, the extra large slide, it just prevents the bed from coming down. But 
you do maintain use of the little kind of flip down jackknife sleeper sofa below that. Obviously, that's not a large sleeper. I'm just saying if push came to shove, one person could curl up on there. And then if really need be in transit, uh, the other person could, you could convert that dinette over into sleeper mode and you could sleep there. You might be able to squeeze two people on that, just depends. Now, the other question people have is travel accessibility. If you flip the table the way I've done it here, and here's an, uh, here, this is kind of one of those things like they don't teach you in, in camper school. This is something I've learned from just a lot of experience. In this one, that cushion right there keeps the top of that table from getting dug up, and those brackets are going to keep the table in place. So if you keep it like this, if need be, you could step over that and get yourself back here. Now, obviously, we have zero access to the refrigerator, and it is tight, but I can squeeze my fat butt through there, past that door handle, and I can get to the bathroom if need be. But one more little pro tip for you. This is a rack and pinion slide out, and what that means to you is that if you want to open it just a little, you can do so without screwing up the slide out. Now, if you're doing that, and anytime you're stepping on a slide out when it is closed, step gingerly. We're not doing jumping jacks or anything like that. This is not Pilates time, <laughs> but the fact is if you need a little more room to get back there, you could. You just don't want to do that any longer and any more frequently than you have to. Now I've got kind of a cool A-B opportunity to show you the two different exterior like skin colors that you can look at here. Sitting right next to this is a Rockwood Rue that we sold very recently. That kind of brownish color right there, that is the normal base skin color that you would find on one of these. We have optioned this one with the kind of you know white sort of graphite accents and those orange pops on those decals. Once again, to me, when you do the white skin package, it truly looks like a super Geo Pro, you know? Instead of, uh, you know, the, the seven four body width, you're getting a full eight foot wide. Uh, you've got more headroom inside. You've got the, the bigger bed set up. And you might notice those uh, yellow bars sticking out the belly there. This one has been optioned with power stabilizer jacks. The thing is, this camper, once again, it could be different from what we have in stock. We build Rockwoods so many different ways because they appeal to so many different people. We're always trying to key into something that you might be looking for. But things like a power tongue jack and a larger 30 pound propane tanks, you're not gonna have to worry about. Now you've got some very sleek frameless windows along the sides over here. But what you see on the front is not actually a window. That is a wind shield. And there is a difference. That's a higher grade glass. Also, uh, you see where the diamond plate is located, the stone guard, way down here. The reason it's down here is because that's where about 90 to 95% of stones are likely to make contact with the camper. So your windshield's already up high enough. Plus, don't forget, you got the vehicle blocking you. And also consider the fact, how many years have you been driving? How many times have you had a stone hit the windshield? And how many times has it actually caused any issues? It is not an impossibility, guys, but we're talking like a lightning strike. Now, to give you uh, any kind of outside pass-through storage space, they had to get a little creative, and they have kind of a side saddle pocket, and it does dog leg a little bit to get under that sofa. It's a little different on the other side. You might have noticed the other side has two separate doors. But the fact is, you do maintain some storage on there, and remember, you can get to it under the sofa. And speaking of getting to things from under things, behind the dinette on this, you don't have to tear apart the dinette. It had the drawers inside, and you can see that all aluminum skeleton here. That's a really cool thing Rockwood does. Anything Rockwood builds in-house, they have a full welded aluminum cage skeleton. And anywhere that they need to screw into that, they actually stuff it with wood to give the screw something really nice to bite into. <laughs> no, <laughs> I might grow. I hope I don't lose some people with this one. Uh, <laughs> This compartment right here, when I run the camera up inside this thing, it makes me uh, think of kind of a, a lower GI doctor giving somebody a, a scope on their 40th birthday, if you know what I mean. That's your Uncle Josh, the RV nerd. <laughs> Little, uh, I didn't expect to be reminded of a trip to the proctologist while looking at a uh, mini light today, but <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> but that'd be cool for like, what would you put in there? Like fishing poles, golf clubs? I don't know. Fact is it's there, it's cool. You can see the slide awning on this one. That's another option we very, very often apply here at Halet RV. Um, the uh, spare tire on the back, hopefully you never need it. Kind of like cough syrup, kind of like, you know, health insurance. I don't want you to have to have those things, but I want you to have them if you need them. 
and I don't want to miss this. Uh, down below here, it actually does have a uh, two inch receiver hitch as well. So if you want to add a bike rack or like a little portable generator tray, you can do that. Outside shower kind of hidden back there as well, but easily accessible. All LED lights, Goodyear endurance radials. Jayco does the same thing. Rockwood said, eh, no one's better than us, watch this. And, and really, I think that's the easiest way I can describe Rockwood. Rockwood goes, what is anybody else doing? Fine, we'll do it plus one. That's what they do. So they didn't just do Goodyear's. They also include a factory supplied tire pressure monitoring system with its own separate handheld monitor, which is very, very cool. Uh, you've got yourself your little outdoor griddle station here. That little white flag hanging down is where the propane cooker hooker goes. If you feel like it, you could either add a second TV or use the interior TV out here that attaches right there. And Rockwood uses the nice zero gravity steps. Because once again, Rockwood says, anything you can do, I can do better. I can do everything better than you. Then all the other brands are like, no, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. What am I doing? Anyway, fully walkable roof. Ha! And I don't know what it is about Rockwood's big, thick, laminated roof. Because, like, uh... J Jayco's roof is, is tested to potentially hold more weight. I believe that. I do. But there's something about Rockwood and Cougar roofing. It is the most solid and sturdy underfoot of any towable RV I've ever walked on. I don't know what they're doing in their travel trailers, but good Lord, does it work. Uh, now, a couple of people have been asking, uh, hey, Uncle Josh, the RV ninja nerd, <laughs> uh, where's the Wi-Fi Ranger? It's all integrated into that TV antenna right there. Uh, there's no separate devices anymore. Um, and actually, if you get right up close to it, it actually says Wi-Fi Ranger right on it. Behind that is the roof solar prep plug. Now, obviously, the, all Rockwood Mini Lights are going to be roof solar prepped standard. That's normal. Remember, this RV was built with the two-way uh, gas electric fridge. Be a very good option for some off-grid enthusiasts. But that's the neat thing Rockwood does. If you get the 12-volt fridge, which we usually build here at Halitz, this one is actually kind of a one out of fiver that we build, it will automatically include from Rockwood a 190-watt solar panel as well as a 1,000-watt inverter. You can actually add a second one of those 190-watt panels to bump you up to 380 watts of solar power without needing to change wiring, charge controllers, without needing to muck with anything. And by the way, if you want the two-way fridge, and the solar inverter package, you can do that too. You can get the solar inverter separate from the 12 volt fridge, but the 12 volt fridge, almost can't talk now, always comes with that you get it, you get it, never mind, goodbye. <laughs> and I mean, you could do a lot worse than having that staring at you in your rearview mirror. That, the biggest problem with one of these is rubberneck and everybody wants to see that thing when you drive by them, watch people's faces and get that whiplash. Ow, ow, for real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna quit that. Ooh, ah, okay, well, <laughs> if you appreciate the health and safety tips by not lashing your head around like I just did again, give our team here at Halo RV a call. We are family owned and operated. We love the chance to work with you. Please hit that subscribe button, support our family owned business here. Been here since 1989. And by the way, we don't do hidden dealer fees. We just do everything else, all the good stuff. So take care, stay safe, have fun. And happy Halo camping, everyone. Bye.